Hello everybody and welcome. My name's Dad Thatcher. Yeah, welcome to Let's Go for the Older Folks. Hope you're all well. Right, today, today we are starting a brand new playlist. Reason being, I was out um, a few days ago having a, a pint with uh, one of my buddies and his son was there and we were just talking. Um, and he was telling me that um, he's about 13, 13, 14, and how, um, how he's doing in IT. Uh, as he, he said to me, he said that's one of his favourite subjects. And he said they started off um, using, he didn't know the name of it, I'm, I'm assuming it's Scratch, something like that, but it's the visual one where you drag the blocks across, Scratch. And he said, but now we're using uh, MicroPython. And we're using a, we're doing a project where we're working through, working through, and we're going to be doing um, by the end of the year uh, a weather station. They're going to build a, a weather station. And obviously, as his years go on through the school, he'll go on to Python and stuff like that. So I thought, yeah, we're going to do MicroPython now. What is MicroPython? Basically, MicroPython is a not cut down version, but a version that we can use on microcontrollers, right? And what we can do then is use our microcontroller um, to use, have the power of Python, really. A big difference, I don't know uh, if you've done some of my previous sessions, that in the Arduino IDE, we write the code, or the sketch, as they're called. We compile that sketch, make sure there's no issues, and then we upload that onto our microcontroller. Now, the difference with uh, MicroPython is we have to flash the uh, firmware actually onto the microcontroller. On this occasion, we're going to be using uh, the SP32 and the integrated development environment that we're going to be using is Sony. Reason being, we've used Sony before in, <coughs> excuse me, in uh, other projects. Um, so that's the main reason for it, okay? First thing I want to show you, really simple, how we hook it all up. All right, we go from our ESP32. All right, I've got the, um, not the M Rover, the M Room. All right, the M Room. Actually, what I've got, I've got two set up. One goes to my Raspberry Pi 4. So that's what we're going to be using. But you can also use Windows 11. Windows 11. So, there, there you go, choose what environment you want to use. If you've got a Raspberry Pi, use that. If we're using the same hardware, software, makes life a lot easier. So, what we're gonna do, the first thing we're gonna do, let's go over to instruction. We are going to install Thony, right? We are going to install Thony. So, what I suggest you do is you open a terminal. You can see that. You just make sure I'm on the uh, right window. Yep. So we're going to go there. Now, first thing I, th I suggest you do is that we update our Raspberry Pi. Now, I am assuming you've got knowledge of Raspberry Pi, although we're going to be doing um, MicroPython from scratch from real beginners. Hopefully, um, you've played with your Raspberry Pis and your microcontrollers. All right, so that's what I'm assuming. So, if you remember, sudo, right? Sudo is for super user. All right, apt dash get space update space and and. Okay, and and. Space sudo super user 
at get dash sorry get and that's up grade so that's going to do both things at the same time all right hang on see that mistake typo already come back apt get upgrade and there we go might take a few minutes might take a few minutes so let's see how long it takes so yeah um you guys i've said it before the sales part i have got um an affiliate link down below it's yes for that okay and you can get all your your components all the parts you need from that link but there are other places i'm not saying this, this is the only place right now we need to after this is done we need to install just a couple of uh, this this what's the word dependencies all right <coughs> and that's sudo pip three install esp tool enter Now I've already uh, installed the latest version, so uh, there you go, already satisfied. Right, install, I'm going to be installing um, Sony, although I've already got it installed onto Linux, because um, the Raspberry Pi, the Linux system, but sudo apt install. Python 3, right, space Python 3 dash pip space Python 3 dash ek. All right, so sudo apt install Python 3 space. Python 3-pip. Okay, already installed. Right, so, that's that done. Let me clear that. C-L-E-A-R for clear. All right, and let's minimize that. Right, I've already got Thony open. You may have to do a, a um, a restart with ESP tool so I've got ESP tool installed so what we need to do now is we need to now install Sony all right so sudo pip3 install Sony all right press enter Okay, takes a little while. I've already installed mine. All right. So that's installing Thony. All right. Now, we now need to flash. Let me just come back here. I've got Thony open. All right, here's my Thony. You should have a similar window. All right. We want to download the firmware for Thony. So open the browser. All right. I will put a link down below to this page. Okay, I will put a link down to uh, this page. Remembering I'm using the ESP32 W room. All right. Okay, what you need to do is to download version 1.22. All right. Download version 1.22. Once you download it, it should appear in your downloads page. So far, so good.
Right. Right, we've done now downloaded that. Let me minimize that. It's in our downloads. What I want to do is come to Thony. All right, so we're on our Thony. All right, what I want you to do <coughs> is go to Tools, and I want you to go to Options, and then I want you to go to Interpreter. Right, I want you to go to Interpreter. We have a drop down menu here. All right. Now you may have an 8266. All right. Well, I've, got, I've got the MicroPython ESP32. Right. Now, port or web REPL. Down arrow. And you want the CP2102 or whatever version um board you've got you there is another board called uh, another common board which is called i'm just checking and it's a ch340 all right you may have uh the driver the ch340 all right i've got the uh, 2102 all right so we select that all right now once we've done that, install or update MicroPython. Port. The same port. Now, go to your, um, remember this port, it's your bridge controller, CP2102. We need to go to browse firmware version see now downloads click on that and click ok once that's all satisfied you then click install now you may have to uh, press remember there's a button a reload button that you have to press sometimes on your esp32 so click install and just press your button It'll erase all the flash. Raising flash. Keep your button pressed. Okay. And here we go. We're now uploading the MicroPython firmware to our board. I'll stop the uh, video for a little while. It might take a couple of minutes. Okay. Okay, so uh, as you can see, we've completed, we got done. Let's close this. All right, and then let's okay this. We've now flashed our um, get rid of that. We've now flashed our um, MicroPython. To our ESP32. Now we need to test it, don't we? We need to test it. Okay. So what, what I want you to do is down here in the shell, right? In the shell, or you can, um, I think you can type it up here. Help. Space brackets on brackets off. Enter. No, okay, and let's run it. Sorry, I forgot to run it. And there we go. We look down here in the shell. Okay. We've now got our connection. Right, what I want to do now is, yeah, welcome to MicroPython. Okay. Let's just do something a little bit more refined. So in our shell, hope you can see this. Let me just make sure you can see all of this. Yeah, sorry, it's a, uh, a bit low. 
Sorry, it's a bit low. Right, let me come back. What I want you to do is type capital P I N right brackets on two comma base capital P small I N full stop capital out all right because on our um SP32 on pin two we got an LED we got a little built-in LED all right and that's brackets off full stop value all small case brackets on one brackets off okay and here's the moment of truth oh let me just and then i'm gonna press run right let me just make sure i got that correct let me just make sure i got that code correct pin ah right okay 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 let's go let's try again sorry about this my fault get rid of all this from machine all right space import pin capital p on the pin all right space oh dear what's up with me an e all right and then let's go to here then it's p i n brackets on two comma space capital p on the pin small case dot out brackets off full stop value brackets on one brackets off and let's run it right okay so let me come back to here let me go to overhead right as you can see on the uh, right hand side my right hand side esp32 you can see i've got a blue light i've got a blue light now if i go back to instruction come back change the one to zero and i'm going to run it go back to overhead and it's gone off all right so i'm going to go back space i'm going to on the code i'm going to change it to one and when i run it you should see it come on and there you go there you go we have tested our installation the onboard led turns on and off so what have we done we've installed thony we've installed the firmware to our uh, esp32 now we're all set up for some future pros projects beginners remember beginners beginners so we can communicate with our youngsters but anyway hope you enjoyed that please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and please subscribe if you enjoy the enjoying the videos and i'll see you next time for some more micropython bye bye